What's up guys, Parv here to talk about a few things. I normally don't do this before any of our videos, but I felt like this is something I really wanted to tell you guys. It's something really important in my life, so uh, if you can just tell me your ear for about a minute or two, that'd be awesome. Try not to skip to the uh, top five plays, which is right here. Uh, I'm about to export and put on YouTube. But first thing, first things first is um, my birthday was today, December the 20th, so thank you for everyone that wished me a happy birthday. That was awesome of you. Made my day. And uh, second thing is, it's very depressing and sad to say, but there's a kid in my school and he's developed um, a bone cancer in his femur and uh, my school's kind of united as a whole to try to help him out. We've been doing a bunch of fundraisers, making shirts, making wristbands, you know, a few hundred dollars here and there. Where everything that we've made so far goes towards his family and all their bills, you know, obviously it's the holiday season and um, they're going to be buying gifts and, you know, they're trying to balance that out right now. So I'm coming to you guys. Um, we're putting a link in the description box below. It's a donation page to, uh, through PayPal. Um, you guys can donate as much as you want, anywhere from a dollar to really whatever you would like. If you have anything laying around, that'd be awesome. Um, we're closing the donations by the 31st. I mean, if it's still going strong, we're going to keep it going. But the 31st is when we would like to cut it off, you know, make this guy's check and, um, and give it over to him. So I just kind of, that's a little general statement of what's going on. And it's obviously been affecting me because he's been, you know, he's a great kid. I know him and, uh, I really feel terrible for him. So. One little thing that we're going to be doing that's pretty cool though is the top three donators will be receiving a Ryan Nassis skin and try not to look at this because, you know, I mean, there's no point we already used this code, but the three um, top donators will be receiving one of these, each of them. And also, um, as a little side note, we're going to be having those three players play with me and Brandon. We're each co-owners here at Potato Monster. We're going to be streaming. We're going to pick one day, say we're streaming all day. And we're going to have, you know, a bunch of contests that day. And you guys, those three people, will get the first invites besides me and Brandon. They will get to choose what teams they want to play on. You know, we can do normals. We can do ARAMs. You know, anything. Anything anyone wants. So, but those, th uh, those three people will always get the first invites and get to play with us all day. So, that's just a little prize. And if you look at these skins on eBay, they're actually, they actually go for a pretty good amount. So, um, we're and by no means selling them. But if you were going to buy one off eBay... You might as well donate for a good cause. So um, that's just about everything I wanted to talk about. Um, like I said, this dude, the deadline for right now is um, December 31st. We appreciate any donation. I figure that we have about 200,000 people that watch our videos every single week. If 1% of you guys donates a dollar, we can make this kid you know, really happy for you know, the holiday season. So thanks to you guys again, and um, enjoy week 41. What's up guys and gals, so welcome to your number one feed of League of Legends plays submitted by you guys and all packaged into an exciting new top 5 plays episode for the world to see. Kicking the show off, we have AKM Denmark playing on Zerath in the Geo 4 LoL tournament. His team is trying to shove middle turret and the enemy team comes to defend, but Amu will actually decide to initiate on the gang playing a waddling his way and using that ultimate, getting knocked away as it's followed by Crescendo and all three charges of Arcane Barrage picking up the quadra kill in what really is a well executed attack on the enemy team. At number 4 for this week is Dragnus on Maokai, and at the start of this clip he's duking it out with Shaco and after taking a bit of damage he sees Trinimere coming in so he's going to try to bail using his ultimate to reduce some incoming damage. Trin pops his W to slow him down as they die but the tower does get on the right Shaco so he runs and Dragnus turns around using his Q to buy some time and then he uses his E for some extra damage and now he's going to run back and forth as they both dive him but now he slow it down as Trinimere spins. He's going to use Twisted Advance to dodge the damage saving his life and then with the help of the turret brings him down. Now in this 1v1 he falls to 1 health but he's going to heal with his final auto attack keeping himself alive just long enough to pick up the double kill. Coming in at number 3 is Gneko on Vayne with some classic Vayne Janna bot lane, but mixing with some quick reactions and loads of skill. So he pops final hour and tumbles in as Janna slows his time, so she's gonna flash, and now the dive begins as Gneko gets shielded and dishes out some damage, but he's gonna get knocked away. Now he switches to Janna as she's exhausted, falls low, she ulted, and Vayne flashes in, getting on Tristana, killing her mid jump, and then turning and firing Condemn on Soda, picking up the double kill with some sick teamwork. Scoring in 2nd place, we have Fred81 on Blitzcrank, and we start this clip off with him spawning Fiddlestick, doing blue, so he's going to hook him over mid drain, knocking him up and stealing blue buff with his ultimate. And now with Fiddlestick Zoom, he's going to easily chase, and his team's going to converge on him, picking up the first kill for his team in this montage-like clip. Now we quickly fast forward as they chase down Misfortune, he actually pulls off another very nice grab on her as they end up actually tower diving her and he manages to land an E while she's on the turret and they grab their second kill. Right after she falls, Blitzcrank backs off for just a moment just to turn around, hooks her right into another knockup and kill for them. You may think this guy's little hooking spree is over, but oh, you are sadly mistaken. He spots Cassie Hoopin on turn, and he's going to hook her through the wall right into the hands of Mordekaiser as he continues to spoon feed his carries like the number one support he is. They die Fiddle 6 and already gets her second kill, and then he heads over to the top for his final gank of the clip on Nasus. 
On arrival, he knocks him up and ignites it right when it looks like he might get away. Bang! Another grip into his team to ensure the kill. A minute and a half from the start of his rampage, he ends up giving his team six kills and landing every one of the five beautiful hooks he threw out. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Evil Funny Bunny with a short but skill packed clip. In the beginning of this play, he is running from three enemy players as he goes into the brush, turning around using his EQ and our combo, flash dodging the Ezreal, and then he's going to pick up the kill on Shaken immediately after. He manages to scare off Stone, but then snipes her with his Q for the double kill, and then contemplates going in because of his low health, but then Graves exhausts the Ezreal, so he's actually going to head in closer and gets the triple kill while displaying some great awareness in a complex 1v3 fight. And the winner for this week's player's choice is Not Jackie with Ping Pong Lee Sin. Of course, in order to vote for the player's choice clip that you think deserves to be spotlighted on our Tuesday's episode, go to PertainerMonster.com and click on the player's choice link to vote. I also want to remind you guys that if you want to donate, the link's in the description box below, and every cent helps tremendously, so thanks to everyone in advance. If you really just can't donate anything at all, or maybe your mom and dad just won't give you the credit card, or maybe even if you don't have a PayPal account and you really just can't do it, then don't fret, my dear Potato Monster fans. Give this video a thumbs up and favorite it to spread the word around much faster, and hopefully this way someone else can help out. And lastly, I want to wish everyone a very happy holidays within the next few weeks, and as always, take care and enjoy the rest of your week.